Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I check out all sorts of Sailor Moon news and I do merchandise reviews. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to subscribe down below. Today I have the beautiful Princess Kaku pull-up doll and I have unboxed this previously but I have not done the entire review. So this is the video where you are going to actually see her out of the box and I will tell you a little bit about this pull-up doll. So let's go ahead and break into this box. So since this is from Premium Bandai, there was a little receipt on it or a little QR code or barcode or whatever. Uh, I don't like having those on my my boxes, especially when it covers up a part of the logo. So I went ahead and took that off. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape at the top. I'm breaking the seal, man. I know I'm a terrible person. No. Okay. So the very first thing we have is a little piece that describes the stand that she comes with. And then a little piece that describes how you can move her eyeballs and move her eyelids because you can shut her eyes and you can move her eyes back and forth. It's a little creepy, but that's a thing. This must be the special item that you get from Premium Bandai. So Premium Bandai's pull-up dolls usually come with something extra. And in the case of several of the ones that they've done previously, uh, like Black Lady came with, I believe, a Luna P, um, Sailor Moon, one of them came with an extra outfit. Princess Kaku comes with, I can get this out, ah, get off my hands. She comes with a pretty galaxy backdrop. It's a piece of paper printed to look like a galaxy. And that's it. I think they should have done more. I think this was like a cheap pop out basically to get sales, but that's, that's it. Like you can order her anywhere else and that's the only thing you wouldn't get was the backdrop a piece of paper, which anybody could really print themselves. Okay, so sliding her out of here, first thing you'll notice is we have a whole bunch of little stuff around her and then the doll in the middle, and these dolls are kind of complicated to take out, so I'm gonna go ahead and take her out and then I will show you what she looks like after I do that. Okay, so I'm back now that I finally got her out of the box. As I said, it it's a real pain in the to get these things out of their boxes and then get them all set up because they have so many little pieces and parts and everything and they're very intricate and fragile. So pull-up dolls are, they're, they're hard dolls, but they are posable, they're fully posable. Every single joint uh, you can move around and they are also designed to have like really, really skinny bodies and then the big heads. And some people don't like those and depending on the character, I don't either. Uh, but in the case of her, as well as Eternal Sailor Moon and Black Lady, I think all of them look really precious and cute. So Princess Kaku, she looks like this. She has a few different parts to her. So she has her shoes, which you can put on separately. And then she has her crown, her two little dangles in her hair. And then this piece too, the little infinity sign in her hair, that comes in as a little comb that you stick in her hair as well. Uh, so I found that after I unboxed her, putting on her crown is really annoying because this is kind of, it's not positioned that great and neither are these. Like I finally got them in there where they're pretty stuck, the two little pieces. Uh, but it's a real pain in the butt to get the crown on because the Velcro makes it sit kind of awkwardly. Like it's very loose on her head. So I don't know. I guess since she's mostly just gonna be on the shelf, I'm not gonna play with her or anything. It'll be fine, but I feel like they should have put the Velcro so that the crown would be a little bit tighter on her head. But right now it's pretty loose, so it easily comes down onto her forehead. And I really wanna show off her face. One of the nice things about pull-up dolls, and let's see if I can do this without screwing up the crown and everything else, is you can make them blink and you can turn their eyes. So I can make them blink with each separate eye does she actually close her eyes? Okay, she does close her eyes, but it's really hard to get them down all the way, but I'm just gonna leave them open. And then you can also make her look left and right. So you can twist her eyeballs back and forth with a little lever that's on the back of her head. So there's three different levers and all of them are hidden with her hair. Now you'll notice with the costume, it's pretty accurate to the anime. Uh, there's not much to say about it other than, you know, its accuracy. The nice thing about pull-up dolls too is since all of them are the same size, you can trade their clothes with each other. So I've seen a lot of people like experiment with putting different clothing items on the different characters for Sailor Moon pull-up dolls, and they end up taking these adorable photos. I'm too lazy for that, so I'm just gonna enjoy those on Instagram, and y'all can do that. You do you, I will enjoy it. Uh, their clothes do come off with Velcro as well, 
right there. And she does have the full dress as well as the cute little undergarment piece on her, on her butt. Her shoes are super awkward to put on. They're kind of annoying because her joints are posable as well on her feet, uh, but they are the really funny little pointy shoes that she wears. So she also came with a little collectible card with her as well, and each of them come with one of these, so that's pretty cute. Ta-da! And she came with a stand, so I'm gonna hook her up on her stand and then I will set her up back behind me. So that is pretty much everything to say about the pull-up doll, Princess Kekyu. If you wanna see any of the other pull-up dolls reviewed, let me know, I'd be happy to. I think they're really pretty, but again, I don't, I'm not, oops. But again, I'm not big into dolls, so of course I don't have that many. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my other Sailor Moon news and reviews that I do. I do a plenty of them. Like and comment on this video below and let me know what your favorite pull-up doll is or if you're in, even into dolls at all. Like, I'm not really into dolls, but you know, they're kind of fun to put in my guest room in here and then creep out my guests because not everybody is into dolls. And with that said, my name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Johnny.